and then make her get out of your way to the right. Good, and eyes up. Eyes up down here. Here she's doing much better on the turns to the right. We do the turns to the right to establish leadership. So the horse knows that we move the horse, the horse is not Slow supposed down. to move us. Yep. Whenever horses refuse to load on the trailer, the owner usually uh, turns them to the left. Uh, and then the horse knows that he has you. So this is a counter move to teach Take the horse. Your time on your no, turn. you have to move out of my way and you're not to run me off the ramp. Pinch her in the neck if she doesn't move. There you go. Now extend the whip toward her hindquarters. Eyes up. There you go. that's when I'll apply pressure. Anything she wants to sniff, that's all good, but she can't drag me. Can't drag you away. Yeah. Well, she could, but... Well, she wanted no to. No steady pressure. Good. Good, good girl. girl. And here, I'm going to back her. Good. Because I don't want to put all the pressure on her, but she has to pay attention to the lesson. So she can't look behind her or to the bottom. So this is the lesson. Good girl. Back. Good. And then when I back her, then I can get this step again, where if she's one to stall on the ramp, then it's hard to get that next step. Mm -hmm. So anytime she wants to smell the trailer, she can smell it or smell the sides of the trailer. And release. Good girl. Step. So see how I let that line slide out of my hands and uh -huh. I'm not getting back to her? And I'm bumping her when she's trying to drag me. So steady pressure. Hold. And release. I don't want you to use that. Step. And release. Good girl. I'm going to back her before she wants off. Back up. And if I do that a few times, that'll take the panic out of her. Okay. So I'm holding steady pressure. Release. Not that way, though. Release. Whenever she's coming forward, she gets a release. Good girl. Good. So tell her to back, even though I don't want her to. I'm going to tell her to back. Step. Because then she'll go, oh, I'm not getting in a huge amount of trouble for backing and the people aren't, aren't losing, their, losing their temper. Steady pressure. Release. Good girl. Now when she does something for me, I can give her a cookie, but I'm not going to hold it out in front of her face to coax her. I was told that this horse took three hours and five people to load last time. I probably got her on in 20 minutes, and then after that, she'd just walk right on. Next time she gives me a step. Steady pressure. So see how that slides out of my yeah. hand? You're kind of, you're letting her push, the move back, with, but still putting it. pressure on it. it. Yeah. So I'm not giving her a release. So see, she's still feeling the contact. Good. But I'm not giving her a release for backing up. Step. And if I double this, it can make me stronger. If I double the line. So she, she never gets a release for that. And then I can add what we were working with for self-loading. If I give her a release for that, I can add the whip on her wither. You're fine. And now steady pressure here and release. Step. So I don't go heavy on the face 
a little heavier, not dragging, but heavier on the bump. Good. So I'm rubbing because she's going forward. Good. Good. You're fine. Steph? Keep in mind how face. strong this mare is, and I need the leverage, all the leverage I can get. Um, she's dragged people off and bumping the halter and using the whip and her flank area. Not to whip her on the trailer, but to get her to realize she is not getting comfort going off to the side. It's all about pressure and release. So this is broken down to where the horse understands when she gets tapped, she needs to take a step. Trailer loading is very dangerous. Um, I can get squished, dragged, killed, um, stomped on, um, broken finger. I can go on and on. So I don't ever leave the roll halter on, but I prefer to use that and not a chain because the chain does not release. We started with the trailer open and then we went on to closing it up. something for giving us a step, not coaxing her in. Step. And see, I don't want her to hit her head, so yeah. I don't pull hard in here. That's why I say easy on the head and heavy on the whip. Once she clears that, then I can be stronger here and go and use my whip. Good, and release. And use my whip to go heavy on the whip, on the whip but not on her face. Not pulling hard on her face. I'm going to tell her to back before she just runs backwards. Back. Because it becomes a pain in the butt for them to have to keep doing this ramp. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, you know, it's Eventually a lot cheaper just... just to stay in here. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. You're fine. Because when she goes back, she's just going to have to do it again. Yeah. Back. Now step. And rub. Good girl. Good girl, you're fine. Good girl. Back. Good. Step. Good girl. That's it. You can you can relax a little bit. Soon she stayed on longer and longer and didn't have to run out. We also closed the trailer up halfway and she was able to stand. This is her very first attempt on loading the horse herself. Um, I don't ever keep the rope halter on them. Watch her that she it doesn't hit her head here. And then you can go under, you, yeah, go underneath and set your hands. One up and one down. Just steady pressure to get her to step up. Just step, step up, and let that roll out of stunt. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. We had taken the horse.
for a ride around the block well she did and then now uh, I'm going to load him back up again but I had her do it and she Jersey. ran into trouble um, so here's after the horse has been for a ride loading right up and she has she has a little trouble after um, but it's so Good much to do girl. with timing and the relationship between horse and handler so she can practice at the simulator when I leave and and hone her, her skills on the turns and to the right and right the timing uh, to catch her before Go she tries to her. pull um, but this is why I have two hour Please sessions and uh, people say right I load the horse in two hours it's really a uh, good hour Steady working pressure, on the ground skills release. with the horse and the owner Steady. and not so Holding much weight. even an hour at the trailer um, but this is how I you get the session complete there if you need it. so the owner doesn't have to call me hold, back hold, again. Go with her, go with her, but don't release her. Good job. Bumper, bumper, bumper. Yep. Step and release. Nice. One hand up and one hand down. Now maintain that pressure on her head, when, let it slide when she's backing up. Good girl. Good girl. Steady pressure, steady holding weight. Bumper, bumper. Ah, yeah. Right back in, you don't have to go for a walk. And you can pick up your whip, put it up on her wither. So put it on her wither first, just rub her. Exhale a little bit. You're fine. Go right in with her. She's going to beat you in there. And then just drop the whip. Easy on her face. Light While on her face. While in the face. trailer, bump, you bump, can't bump. pull in the face, in the but hip. here, her right after hip. she cleared, she there should have go. bumped her um, to get the leverage on her. But it's uh, everything happens so quick, and the mare is very strong Easy. and tricky. Let her settle a little bit. Let her settle. Yep. Good job. Bump, 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 bump. Ugh. There you go. You got to get the grab on her a little sooner. We did end on a good note, um, and as I stated, we did uh, self-loading, um, and she reports the mare is doing excellent. Thank you.